Okay, so day 13 on Celebrity Big Brother, Courtney had this task where she had to wear this ugly jumpsuit and get rid of all of her clothes. And then as a reward, she got to see her husband. And then after she saw her husband and she went to bed and she woke up in the morning, she didn't put the jumpsuit back on. And then Big Brother calls her up to the diary room and Big Brother's all like, Courtney, why aren't you wearing your uniform? I'm not superficial, but it's ugly and I don't want to wear it. Courtney, do you remember why you're wearing that uniform? Because I got to see my husband yesterday, so if I don't wear it today, what are you going to do about it? Courtney, there will be consequences. Well, I'm not going to wear it. Does it not bother you that if you don't wear the outfit, one of your housemates may be evicted? I know this sounds terrible, but I'm not going to wear it. Okay, yeah, it totally does sound terrible, and it sounds totally superficial. Like, if I got told I could be on Big Brother, but, like, I had to wear that outfit all the time, I would totally just wear it. Like, I would rock that outfit. Like, I don't care. Like, I would make that outfit look good. And if you had, like, self-esteem, you could be like, I make this shit look good. But, no, you just have to be a whiny crybaby and, like, not even play the game. The people are paying you money to play. It's really stupid. And then, so, like, Mr. Big comes back on and lets everyone know, like, what the deal is. And so, Mr. Big, he's all like... Yesterday, I had told you that I had taken Lauren, Carol, and Mary hostage and that I was treating them horribly. In actuality, they were living in luxury and watching your every move. I bet nobody saw that coming. I had given you a list of demands and told you that if you did not follow them, something bad would happen. And since Courtney did not want to wear her ugly outfit, now you must choose a housemate to be evicted. And I'm totally serious. I'm really going to evict somebody. It's totally not a trick. So right now, you need to choose whether you want to evict Mario or Carol. Okay, so, like, everybody voted, and they pretty much voted to kick out Carol, and then, like, um, Mario and Lauren came back into the house, and everybody was like, oh, I'm so sad that, uh, Carol's gone, and, like, all of her shit's still here, so that's kind of weird, and, you know, like, oh, she had to leave in that ugly outfit and everything, and then it shows Carol, she, like, goes to the diary room, and then, like, she wasn't really evicted, it was a fake eviction, which is, like, another thing that Big Brother has already done before, but whatever, and, like, nobody saw it coming, it was totally weird, and then, so Carol has to go back into, like, the fake prison place, and she gets to watch everybody on TV, and then, um, she sees, uh, in the treehouse, there's, like, um, Lauren and Courtney, like, talking about, like, what had happened with them being, uh, trapped or whatever, and then, like, it was weird, like, Lauren's all, Oh, I just didn't understand why you wouldn't wear the outfit. Oh, you know me, sweetie, I was just pretending to be a bitch so people would send me home because I miss my husband so much. Oh, well, that makes sense. Didn't you see the video where I got to see my husband? No, we didn't get to see that. Oh, well, in that case, we totally talked about you. We talked about how much we love you and how great you're doing and how awesome you are. Oh, well, the only reason that I said mean things about you was because Carol and Mario were saying mean things about you. And I felt peer pressured. Oh, what did Carol say about me? Don't worry, sweetie. You can tell me now because Carol's not here anymore. She got evicted and she's totally not secretly watching us. Oh, well, she said that it would all be worth it if you got evicted. Thanks for telling me. I love you, sweetie. 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 Okay, that's weird, right? Like, they were so full of crap that it actually kind of, like, hurt me a little bit. Like, it was actually, like, physically painful to listen to, like, how full of crap they were. Like, whatever. They're so fake. They just both, like, deserve each other. Uh, it was just the weirdest, like, shit I had ever seen, like, in my whole life ever. And, like, I don't want people to think that, like, I'm making fun of Lauren because she's transgender. Because I'm not. Because transgender people are, like, totally cool. And, like, I totally support them. And it's gotta totally suck to be born, like, in the wrong body. And then, like, it costs all this money for, like, surgery to fix what's basically, like, a birth defect. 
and like insurance doesn't cover that shit which is fucked up because if you had like we're born with a heart condition they would fix that but you're born with like a penis or vagina like a condition and they're just like no you gotta pay for that shit yourself and then like you have to go through life with like people not understanding you and stuff which is like people's problem not your problem but then you're forced to deal with it so like I totally get that like that's not why I make fun of Lauren and that's not like why I think she's funny why I make fun of Lauren is because like when I watch her it's kind of like if Jim Henson like made a Muppet that was like a cross between like a six-year-old girl and an 83 year old woman like seriously like she's some weird like amalgam Muppet she's just totally like a Muppet and, like, if you ever saw Lauren wake up in the morning with her frizzy, crazy hair and her, like, thigh-high fishnet black stockings and her little pink negligee and didn't think she looked like Dr. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Picture Show, then, like, you don't know. You need glasses or something. Because that was the first thing I thought. And I laughed. And, like, she's not even trying to be funny. But, like, it's totally funny. And she talks like Kermit the Frog. 